Hello and welcome back to The Fix. I'm your host, Hannah Bowen. It's a pleasant January morning here in South Bend, but Irish fans worldwide are smiling after this past week. Let's see what the buzz is all about. On Monday night, the sixth-ranked Irish faced the fifth-ranked Tennessee Lady Vols. Junior standout Jewel Lloyd in action with a turnaround jumper while heavily guarded in the first with 8.40 to go. She would put up 34 points for the Irish, her third 30-point game of the year. Notre Dame shot at 58% overall while the team totaled 18 assists and 13 turnovers. 88-77 victory over the Lady Vols. On Thursday at home, the Irish took on the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, where sophomore Taya Reimer got the job done defensively. Reimer totaled 19 points and 8 rebounds. Junior Michaela Mabry turned around the game tempo in the second half with a steal to an assist to Allen, followed by a steal from Lloyd to Mabry with the three to help seal the Irish win 89-76 against the Yellow Jackets. In their fourth game in 10 days, the Irish would defeat Clemson 74-36. What a week for Muffet McGraw and her squad. A tough weekend on the road for Notre Dame hockey against the Northeastern Huskies. Despite Irish efforts in the third period coming back from a 2-0 deficit, the Huskies defeated the Irish 3-2. Notable performances came from freshman Cal Peterson and his 37 saves along with goals scored by Mario Lucia and Sam Hare. Saturday night, the Irish scored on two power plays, but it was not enough to hold back the Huskies as they swept the Irish 4-2. Thomas DePauli gave the Irish a 1-0 lead as he took advantage of a power play and assist by Vinny Henestroza. Anders Bjork netted his second career goal for the Irish with 4.41 left in regulation. The Irish are back in action this weekend as they host New Hampshire on Friday and Saturday. The men's basketball team had a week on the road with two ACC matchups. On Thursday, Jaron Grant totaled 18 points against Virginia Tech, including this pick and roll. The layup is in with a foul. Senior Pat Connaughton totaled 17 points while he tied his season high of five three-pointers, like this one with 12 to go in the second half. His 10 rebounds marks his fifth double-double this season as the Irish cruise to an 85-60 victory over the Hokies. On Sunday, Grant scored 25 points and blocked a last-second shot that helped number 8 Notre Dame beat North Carolina State 81-78 in overtime. Saturday didn't disappoint the 14th-ranked Irish who clawed for every point in a razor-thin 4-3 victory over number 24 Oklahoma State in the opening round of the ITA kickoff weekend at the Eck Tennis Pavilion. The win was clenched by a third set tiebreaker in the last remaining singles match. Eric Schnurrenberger helped the Irish secure wins in both singles and doubles, including a dramatic third set win at number four singles. On Sunday, two of three doubles matches went to tiebreakers while all six single matches saw third sets but the Irish fell short for the first time as the Columbia Lions won 4-2. Don't forget to add us on Snapchat, ND Irish. We give you the exclusive access that you can't find anywhere else. Thanks for watching The Fix. I'm Hannah Bowen, and as in all things, go Irish!